But yeah, one thing I wanted to talk about as well is like, um, one thing I hate, and I've always hated this as well, like, I never really knew the word for it or whatever, in it, yeah, but like, feminism pisses me off. That the masculine energy in women that feminism has bred just pisses me off. Like, I'll tell you why, yeah? Feminism's good for some things. Uh, you know, women weren't allowed to vote back in the day. Um, I, I believe women were allowed to be beaten by their men back in the day. Uh, women can now work and, you know, if a woman goes for a particular job and a man does, it's not gender bias in terms of the wages. So if it's a 30 grand job for a man, it's a 30 grand job for a woman. Those are the good things about feminism. Yeah, women can drag out. There's certain countries in the Middle East, women are not allowed to vote, women are not allowed to drive. They will have a, no, no. That's madness. How can women not be able to vote or drive or whatever? Yeah. So those are the good things about feminism. But the bad thing about feminism is giving women this ideology that they're on the same level as men. But then when things happen to them, they can't fathom why things happen to them. They can't, they, they, they can't correlate the two. For example, I was at some, some woman's house yesterday doing my electrical testing. So when I was chatting to her, she said to me, oh yeah, uh, I guessed that you was from London or whatever. Really. So I'm, I'm up in Northampton, innit? Yeah, she guessed that I'm from London. E everyone in this fucking area that I meet, they always know I'm from London and that. I don't think I have an accent, but they do. So anyway, boom, we're chatting now. She was like, yeah, I'm scared to go to London. She said she actually came back from London about a week ago. She said she just finds it scary. Like she thinks that she's going to get mugged or whatever in it. You're like, it's a black woman. I don't know how old she is. She had a 17 year old son. So I'd say she's at least 37, 40 years old, whatever, but she don't look it. She said, yeah, she feels scared and that. It? Yeah. And you know what? I actually respected the fact that this woman was actually, you know, had the courage or the balls to admit that she's afraid. Because a lot of women are on this macho shit, like, like they think a lot of women think they're tough, but they're really not. Yeah, so I respected the fact that this woman was able to, to admit, yeah, she feels vulnerable. She feels scared. I was saying to her, listen, man, as a black woman, you don't need to be feel feel afraid in, in London. Like, especially if you go to the areas that I'm from, Edmonton and Tottenham and that, no one's going to bother you because she felt like, oh, she goes to certain rough areas and that people are going to trouble her. I said to her, no, if you go to my area, Edmonton, or if you go around the corner of Tottenham, no one is going to trouble you in that way. Men will come up to you and talk to you. Yeah, that, yeah, that will happen because you're a black woman or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah, men are going to try and move to you, but no one's going to trouble you on that level. Isn't it? Yeah. And she was like, oh, because all the stories I hear and that. And like, no, 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 it's not like that, man. It's, it's cool, man. Obviously, there's trouble everywhere. And that, I mean, it's boom. So that was the first woman. That was yesterday. Isn't it? There was a woman today. Uh... Where she lives in this flat, this is in obviously Northampton as well, where she lives in this flat complex, she was telling me about the bins and she said it's really dark around there where the car park is. And she said she hates the fact that they've closed the car park and made everyone park somewhere else. So she doesn't like walking through where the car park is because she said, I'm a woman and I feel vulnerable at nighttime because it's pitch black. There's no cameras and there's no street lights. And if there is this like, a million miles away where the nearest street a street street light is whatever in it so she feels vulnerable in it so i respected her for that in it i said no it's good that you know you admitted that or whatever in it because again there's a lot of women that think that they're tough and they're not so i said to her you know as a man i don't ever feel vulnerable at night time or in the dark you know i said to her like, man, I'm mad, man, you know. Man go running at midnight, you know. Running, I go jogging at midnight. Now, I don't like to go jogging at midnight because I don't want the police thinking that man's a thief. Like, Why is a black man running at midnight, half 12 and that? So I don't, that's, that's one of the reasons why I don't like going running. I don't feel vulnerable. As a woman, you are vulnerable in the night, you know. I was watching one 
uh, documentary and I've been binge watching it whilst I'm doing my electrical certificates. Because when I come home for work, I've got paperwork to do. And there's a few rape cases on there as well, isn't it? Yeah. And these women are, 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 are like walking the streets and that and getting followed by men. There's been stories in fucking Finsley Park, woman walking through Finsley Park at midnight, getting raped and that. Feminism has made women think that they are safe and they are not vulnerable in the world. Women are vulnerable in this world and women need to be careful. Women need to have that mindset that if I go out at night time, I'm a vulnerable person, I can be attacked. That don't mean don't ever leave your yard, but definitely have your wits about you. If there's a lit street and that pathway is a lot longer than the shortcut that's dark, take the long route. Even if it's going to take you an extra 20 minutes. If you're on foot, take the long route. No, feminism has taught women, oh, don't worry, go down that dark alleyway where there's hardly any uh, lighting and there's definitely no cameras because you're a woman, you're on the same level as a man. A woman is not on the same level as a man. And two women remember that. Women will always become victims at night time, you know. Every woman thinks they're on the same level as a man. You're not on the same level as a man. I remember I was at one workplace in West London somewhere. Yeah, right near White City as well. I made a video about this. Go and check it out. One of the early stages of JYs. I'm sitting in my car. So that particular, one particular morning, I was walking towards um, the construction site I was working on. And there was one black you. And he was just charging down the road. My man's moving with pace when he's walking, isn't it? Charging down the road. There's some security guards um, in this little security office thing or whatever in a little security hut anyone that walks and approaches the hut they want to see your id so he's approaching the hut and really and truly he should be starting taking out his idea whatever in it so they said morning can we see your id or whatever in it and i heard him say get out of my face you don't need to see my id or whatever in it and it was like stop 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 some woman tried to stop him some little indian woman tried to stop him you know what he did he pushed her out of the way, and then some other guy came, he pushed him out of the way, then they tried to grab him, and he threw this woman over a barrier. And you see in situations like that, yeah, women should not be security guards. Women should not take on the roles of men. See, it's all well and good women being security guards when they don't have to be security guards. Yeah? It's all well and good women doing men's jobs when it's time until it's time to be a fucking man. Because what's gonna happen is a man will dash a woman over a barrier who's a security guard, and people will say, Oh, how can he treat that woman like that? That's just a woman. Hold on a minute. You're filling the boots of a fucking man. I'm not saying that even a man should get dashed over a barrier or whatever, or a woman should get dashed over a barrier. What I'm saying is you're putting yourself in a position, yeah, because you as a woman, especially if you're small, you don't even have the, the size and the strength to compete with a man. What are you doing as a fucking security guard? Now, if a woman wants to be in a control room looking at cameras, that's fine. But a woman cannot be on the front line as a fucking security guard because when it comes time to do security and do man work, a woman's going to claim I'm a woman. How can you treat me like that? A woman got dashed over a fucking barrier. I had to run over there and push up the ute, you know? My man made me drop my fucking, um, my lunch. I remember one of the plates dropped in my fucking bag. Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it. They try to say it was man. They try to say it was me. No, 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 because obviously we both walked through the barrier at the same time, innit? And obviously they said, ah, oh, um, the person was black. So obviously me and him fit the same description or whatever. Innit? Women cannot do jobs that men do. But feminism has taught men, feminism has taught women that they can. No, they cannot. No, they cannot. In certain situations, you do need women on the team. Like, for example, police work. In my opinion, I don't think two police women should ever be riding around together. I think a woman should always be accompanied by a man. Just for simple stuff like hardly any women get stopped and searched. But obviously, if you've ever been stopped and searched as a black man, you know, on the streets of London, they're gonna be looking for knives and that. So when they stop and search, see, I might even have to talk about this in 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 the, um, the main topic. When they stop and search us, they get intimate with us, you know, in a non yeah. The man there will put their hand in places they're not supposed to, yeah, to search for weapons as men. Now a man cannot do that to a woman, because their man they will put their hand in the crutches, you know. 
So when if a woman, for example, which is gonna hardly ever happen, if a woman's getting stop and search for, for weapons and that, then they need there needs to be a woman on the team to do that search. You can't have a man doing it because there's certain men, certain men are nasty and they'll use that to their advantage. There was a fucking doctor in America who was sexually abusing women, sexually assaulting women under the radar. Yeah, so whatever examinations he used to do, he used to do it in a perverted way. Certain things like that, see, a, a female, they should have a female doctor or a female nurse on the job to be doing them things there. Because a certain man, they take advantage. A certain man are nasty. Certain men are nasty, man. But women, they cannot be doing the same roles as men. Women are vulnerable. Feminism has taught women now, it's all right, you're a woman. You're at the same level as a man. It's all right to walk through Finsbury Park at night time when it's pitch black. Nothing's going to happen to you. But if women, when women get raped, strangled and killed, they don't understand why, it ha why, why, why it's happened. Yeah, it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. But women are vulnerable. Women are not as strong as men. So therefore, they need to be careful. Remember, when a man's walking the street at night, the worst thing that's going to happen to us is we might get robbed. We could get stabbed or whatever, really. But if someone wants to victimise a woman, they're going to look at them in a different way. Yeah, you, you become food for certain people. Yeah, there's wolves out in the, in the night time, you know, and you're like little Bambi in the woods. Yeah, you become food. Women should not be walking the streets at night time in unlit places thinking that they're all confident and they're tough. Because when the shit hits the fan, can you defend yourself against a man? Do you even stand a chance? Do you even, do you, do you have the presence where a man will think, you know what, yeah, this person might give me a good fight? The answer is no, women should not be walking the streets by themselves and that. But feminism has taught women, nah, it's all right, you do what you want, you're a woman. You're at the same level as a man. You're not. You're not at the same level as a man. Remember that.